and welcome to you all from the Giuseppe Miazza in Milan. And our live game is Inter against AC Milan. I'm Peter Drury and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. A derby with a century and more of tradition. Milan's special occasion, Rossoneri Nerazzurri. for this game. Got things on the way. So, Jim, tell me this: Who are you looking for in particular here? Well, there's an obvious playmaker on show, and that's Honda. Good vision, a stylish left foot, a dead ball specialist, and, and all backed up by a high work rate that's actually often overlooked. And he would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. Now the pass. Loose ball, who's going to get that? He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Looking to shoot. Well, he would surely have scored there more times than not. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Who's going to make this theirs? Nabati. Where to from here? Adair tries a through ball. Nagatomo pops it into the area. Neither side yet able to find the net. And it's Baka. Honda knocks it in gently. Now the cross. Honda. And Danovic catches it safely. Xiao Miranda. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's a corner. Peter, well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. That's gone a long way up and away. D'Ambrosio with the ball through. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Montalivo, Antonelli, and that'll be the last act of the first half. 
where do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil nil. Gets things going for the second half. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. Out to the left it goes. And you could just about hear the collective sigh there. They know they got away with one. Antonelli. Honda. Tries to switch the play. The batty. Still nothing to reflect upon in terms of goals here. It is 0 0. Bonaventura. Oh, the ball's come loose. Now it's Backer. Honda! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. And that's a really instinctive stop, too. Great reflexes to make it happen. I thought he showed class there. Balls out on the left now. Aim forward. It's a throw in. Icardi. And Icardi! Oh, he's really drilled it. And he did so well to keep that down. That would have made life very difficult for the keeper. Looks to slip it through. Spoon forward. Ada passes it through. Seventy five minutes played. Long and direct. Milan somehow escaped the danger. That was a tight call, though. And it's Icardi. Balls loose. Who's getting there? Tries a header! No, oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. And it all came from very good trickery in the, in the wider position, but quite a static defence was pretty fortunate to survive that little episode. It should have been much worse. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Uh, it's a poor throw that, kicked off with relative ease. Peter. Mauro Icardi! There it is! Well, we're sitting here wondering who, if anyone, was going to be able to step up and find a way to goal with the clock running down, and the skipper obliges. It should cement victory in what has been a pretty unpredictable affair. Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. to Milan, take what looks to be a decisive lead. And the referee brings it to a close. What a game.
End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. The end of the game. Reflections? Listen, I've experienced the highs and the lows of derby clashes, and I can tell you that when you win one, it's uh, pretty special. There's so much at stake, it's, it's almost a relief to get it over, and uh, I certainly can identify with the euphoria we're watching now. I think they deserved it. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.